I'm Justin, and welcome to ToTheOpera.com. Today, we're going to tie a Windsor knot. It's my favorite knot right now because it's rather wide. And I'm liking the wide knot. Not. Plus, the foreign hand is overdone in my opinion. I'll show you how to do that at some other time. When you undo your tie, like I'm going to do right now, you want to undo it the same way that you did it. So, and this just preserves your tie. So you want to kind of be careful with it. I mean, you don't have to be like uber careful or anything, but you know. Um, so, there we go. Now, our goal with this tie today is that we're going to want our tie to end up landing right here at our belt buckle. And the reason is because that's where it's supposed to be. If it's long, it makes you look stupid. If it's short, it makes you look fat. Most of us don't want that. Um, and so that belt buckle is a perfect height. It doesn't matter if you loosen your tie, if you like hang your tie around your neck like a necklace, it should still land there. That's important. So, we're going to start off with the skinny end, rather short because this is a big tie, a big knot. We're going to cross the bigger end in front, then we're going to pull it up and through, and that's on my left, at least the way I tie my ties. Um, that's the first part of our base. Then we're going to cross behind and up on the other side, so that the other side ends up looking the same as our first part. Okay? So, that's the base of our knot. Now we're on the home stretch. It's pretty straightforward from here on out. You're going to cross in front. There we go. And then you're going to loop it up behind. And now we're going to shove it through that loop and see if I landed it in the right spot. We don't have a mirror again today, so, you know. It's going to be trial and error. That's how you do it. You just keep going at it. You know, if, it, if you're new to this, it takes you a while in the morning to get dressed because you have to tie your tie ten times. That's fine. Um, so, we're landing perfect spot. Um, I'm going to tighten it a bit. I didn't leave a lot of room up here because I know it's a big knot. So, um, so you can make your dimple by kind of pinching it together. Um, or, if you want to, like, make it pop off your shirt, which is kind of cool look, you just hold it vertically like this, or horizontally, I guess. Hold it up and tighten. And that gives you this pop. See right there? Pop. Um, so that's about it. That's how to tie it. Still landing basically in the right spot. I kind of wear my ties usually a little bit loose, though I'm pretty aware that my collar is a little tight today. Um, I like this shirt though, and it's got a tight collar. It's too small for me. It's kind of a warm day today. It's a little warm to be wearing what I'm wearing. Um, so there you go. Um, Finish off the look, turn our jacket on, there we go, I'm ready to go. Have a good day and thank you for joining me at ToTheOpera.com.